it's never a dull moment around here. The babies are officially a week old and we're um, back at it. I'm not back at it quite yet, but um, we were planning on going fishing uh, the week the babies came. Uh, and by we, I mean like Silas was planning on going. I was maybe gonna go along. Then babies ended up coming and so we did not get to go. Silas's family got a lot of fish and so they are were willing to give us some and so they just brought them to us to be filleted so Silas was processing that. As far as like meat, we eat like salmon and um, moose is a big one. Silas got a moose last, no, not last year. It was like the year before. And we're still eating off of that moose. We don't buy beef. Um, pretty much the only meat that we buy, we buy chicken sometimes. Chicken's kind of like a special thing around here and we buy bacon. Silas got a bear this spring, so we've been eating on that. Oh, we also have caribou. Um, we got a caribou two years ago um that we still have some burger i think mainly left over from that's like everything that we cook around here is basically if it's meat it came from the great outdoors of alaska um so anyway we're just really blessed and and the salmon that was really great because like it's just bad timing for us with the babies being born to go salmon fishing but um silas family went fishing and they gifted us some which was really nice because we do freezer we have frozen salmon and then we also have canned that Silas was working on before and I'm bummed I didn't really video that process but we eat a lot of canned salmon look at all that beautiful salmon um that Silas processed we also had we also did this cauliflower recently I think there's another bag in somewhere and then Friends of ours brought us blueberries. I'm adding like another bag. Um, wild Alaskan blueberries. And like everything always happens all at once. Oh, sprinkled a little bit. Um, so all this stuff in the garden is like coming on at the same time. Oh my goodness. That bird scared me. Huh. I'm hopping down here for some zucchini. Um, I'm then gonna throw in the freezer. There's some zucchini. I already have, I think two in the fridge too. There's some yellow ones coming on, but they need to grow a little more. Hopefully we get some more warm weather there to um, finish growing those. So, but I'm gonna cut these and then I'm gonna throw them in the freezer. So yeah, this one, the end kind of rotted. I think my neighbor who I garden with was telling me the other day that you need to pull like the flower kind of off the end or it will make it rot. So I think that's why the end one, it ends is rotting on this. This is not supposed to be around zucchini, but I'm just gonna cut the end off and then this part's good, so. That's the other thing you can see, my basically bare basil plant there. The, the other day my friend came and she got basil and she made pesto and then we split the pesto, which is what we had for dinner. We had like, we had some leftovers and then pesto just on noodles and stuff. So it was pretty good. But it works. It worked out really well because it was just like one more thing that I just don't have time to deal with. So this is the pesto my friend made. Um, last year we just did it in little muffin tins, but this year she actually got this like kind of silicone um, cube thingy. So we freeze it in that. You can do cube in the cube or in a muffin tin, and then we just pop it out and put it in the bag. And then when I go to make whatever I'm making or whatever Silas is making, we just pull out however many cubes we need. So it's a really convenient way have the pesto so pesto is traditionally made with pine nuts pine nuts are really expensive so we also we did like half of our pesto with pine nuts half of it with walnuts and we liked both <laughs> so this year um we're just doing it with walnuts because walnuts are cheaper <laughs> and while we're working on doing this zucchini and stuff babies are just sleeping away she's fighting sleep he has been conked out for a little bit now, so. So we're just gonna shred some and put it up like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna shred all this and we'll use this 
this winter and like zucchini bread, quiche, those are the main things I use shredded zucchini for. Then I'm measuring out two cups. Or about. And um, putting them in a bag like this. And then I'll put them in a gallon um, and put them in the freezer so I can just pull them out. Um, most recipes that I use call for about two cups. I gave up on measuring. I'm just guesstimating now. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I don't know how long that took me. A while. Someday I would like a, they make an attachment for the KitchenAid that's like a shredder. Um, someday I would like that attachment. So I got 11 little packages. Silas has been busy washing dishes. What's that? Garlic is key. Pickles. He made those a couple days ago and they're like done and good to eat now. Little Miss are just walking down to the greenhouse to pick some tomatoes because Silas was down here earlier and he said that the tomatoes are kind of a problem. <laughs> so she can soak up some sunshine while I pick up pick tomatoes. So she needs just chilled out here. So greenhouse visits are becoming a normal part of babies' lives. So there's also a lot of peas and stuff like that that need picked too, but I don't know how I'm gonna get that to that tonight. And then, um, like banana pepper plant is kind of going crazy. I picked several yesterday, but there's a couple more than we picked too. So yeah, baby girl is just chilling. Look at all these tomatoes. I just picked, I planted mainly cherry tomatoes this year, um, which is what I did last year too. I just like to be able to like pick and eat and not have to worry about like processing. So yeah, I'm not sure. My peas are starting to turn yellow. I don't know if it's just like if they're nutrient deficient over here or if we've gotten too much rain the last little bit. I'm not really sure, but I need to pick some of them. And I have more zucchini coming on. I mean, and I picked my first head of broccoli yesterday. I don't know, my broccoli is weird. It's almost like it's bolted. Um, so I don't know, and it's not just not creating large heads. So I don't think I'm putting any broccoli in the freezer this year. Which is kind of a bummer, but that's kind of like how gardening goes. You know, sometimes, some years, some things work and you just, it's always a learning process. So today, this year is not the broccoli year. Um, like, I mean, cauliflower did really great, but you can also see I have some um, green beans coming on. So if we get some heat, you might actually get green beans, which would be nice. So I've been eyeing this cabbage for a while. And finally we're like, well, we need a quick dinner plan for tonight. So it is time for the cabbage to be picked. Verdict is a cabbage good to eat? Mm -hmm. Cabbage and moose sausage? Mm -hmm. sausage. Mm -hmm. little sleeping baby. We are finally picking our strawberries. They've needed to be picked for a while. Silas picked some raspberries earlier. Some gooseberries here coming on. Yours are riper than mine. It varies. I think I don't know if there's different variations. Strawberry in here, or just some ripen more and others don't. There's other things on the garden that I need to pick too, but I might just make it through raspberries and strawberries today and call it good. But um, and I mean the raspberries we picked were just 
just that plant like right there. And you got like a decent sized bowl. Mm -hmm. We have more raspberries other places. Um, but they're not quite as far ahead. I think these ones are like right more in direct sunlight than some of the others. And then this spring I planted this rhubarb. Um, there's a couple stalks that could be harvested probably. Um, they're not very big yet. It'll really take off next year. I'm looking forward to that. Strawberry rhubarb jelly is like one of my favorites too. So some year, maybe next year we'll do like some strawberry rhubarb jelly. So friends of ours gave us some cauliflower and broccoli. So I am going to, I just like cut it up. Some of it was like kind of bad. So I was pulling pieces off of it. I'm gonna blanch some, um, which is really great because we don't have really, my broccoli was terrible. So um, I've got my water boiling to blanch. And I think for broccoli and cauliflower, it's like you blanch it for like two to three minutes. <clears throat> and then I gotta look up green beans. So that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna put it all in the freezer. Um, the babies are asleep, so I can get this done. And I need to open a window because it's warm in here. It's been like so rainy for like the past week and it's finally, it's not raining at the moment. But it's not really warm either, so. Anyway, but I have my water boiling here and then I'll get my like ice water in there to cool stuff off really fast and then I'll bag it up. So that is what I'm working on on this Sunday afternoon. So me and the babies are out working in the garden today. Um, we're leaving in a week and we're gonna be gone for three weeks. We're gonna be gone till like the middle of September. So I wanna kind of wrap stuff up so um, kind of be working on that over the next week or so, just trying to, the stuff that needs to be processed, processed. Like I'm gonna leave the carrots in the ground. They should be fine. Oh, well, is he talking? Um, they should be fine with a frost. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about the onions. I might pull them too. Um, the kale will be fine with a frost. Um, honestly, if it frosts, then it'll be fine. It'll still kind of look green even after a hard frost. And I can just like stuff it directly into bags and put it in the freezer. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, also Brussels sprouts, it's actually, they're sweeter after a frost. Um, and I don't, as far as I know, we haven't frosted in time yet. And they still kind of look like they have some, they could get bigger. So I'm gonna leave them on. Um, so mainly it's just pulling stuff out that needs to be pulled out. Like my broccoli plants are already done. Um, pulling those out. I just pulled all my cauliflower plants. My lettuce is pretty bitter. Um, so I could probably pull that. So I just pulled all my garlic plants that I planted last year. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna keep um, one or two heads of this and I'll plant this when I get back um, and later in September. Um, so I'll keep one or two heads to plant. Little guy was just, we had been out and about and he was, they were both so asleep. So kept him in his car seat and put her in the back so I could get a little work done. I have not been out here very long, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Um, the zucchinis are kind of a bust this year. I didn't feel like we got a lot of zucchinis. I think it was in a bad bed. It was kind of shaded. It was wetter. Um, and so a lot of them molded. So I think we're probably gonna move zucchinis next year. I don't really like where they are. We have another cabbage out here that we need to probably Maybe make some sauerkraut or something. But we have picked some beans. Again, it was just so wet this year, but kind of see there's some beans coming on some more. So, um, and we picked some. We made a green bean casserole the other night. It was really good. I decided we're gonna do some roasted vegetables for dinner. So we've got some beets, carrots, and an onion, and I'll put that with garlic, and it's really good. We are like rushing to leave town. I'm trying to finish up my harvest and these are like the green beans I got. I didn't have, I just had like a little row. This is the first time I really harvested them. So, um, but I'm pretty happy with that, but there's probably more out there, but I was like in such a hurry. So yeah, wrapping up the garden stuff so we can leave town. We are, we finally had our first frost. Um, so we're processing Brussels sprouts. I said I'm never planting this many Brussels sprouts again. This is a very tedious task, but how many plants do we have? We already ate, we have 10, but we already ate one the other day, so we're doing nine today. 
and now the processing is over because the babies are awake. <laughs> we are pretty much done with the garden. Mm -hmm. Doing the carrots. And I just did the last of the kale in a bag there. I'm gonna chop this thyme plant back. It came back last year, so hopefully it'll come back this year. But yeah, that's like the last thing we did all the Brussels sprouts. So I think these are just out here chilling. We just went on a walk. The idea was that they would then be asleep for us to work in the garden, but they were asleep on the walk and now they're awake. So anyway, but it's kind of sad to be done with the garden. It's been getting really cold. Um, there was like a lot of ice and silence was struck the other day. And uh, so it's been freezing hard at night. So it's time. So, anyway, but I need to get my garlic planted. Um, it's one of the last things I have to do. So do that too.